Great bull heron nests in colonies called heronries. They build nut nests made of stick on branches of dead or living trees. There can be four to five nests in one tree, depending on how many branches are there to hold the nest. A good-sized heronry can have more than hundred nests. Heronry is often near large lakes or rivers. Other birds like egret and cormorants also nest in the colonies. Thus, the name is changed from heronry to rookery. In early spring, grey bull heron return to the same rookery. Both males and females reach the nesting ground at about the same time when the river and water have thawed. Once the males choose the nesting sites, they will put on grand display, including bill snapping, net stretching, morning calls, priming, and circular flights. They mate almost immediately upon arrival. They are monogamous during the season, but choose new partner every year. Building of nets soon follows. Male collects nets materials. Gathering sticks from the ground around the nest site and nearby abandoned nests, then pass them to the females. The females work them into nest and wave a platform and a saucer-shaped nest cup, lining the interior with pine needles, moss, dry leaves, and small twigs. The nest is about four feet in diameter. It takes three days to a week to build the nest. Solid enough for the eggs to be laid and incubated. Most herons lay from three to five eggs. Eggs are incubated for about twenty-eight days. Both parents share the duties of incubation. Males incubate during the day and females at night. The eggs will hatch at the time when food is most abundant. The parents take turn to watch the nest. Care of hatching and hunt for food throughout this time. They have to catch and bring back a lot of fish to feed the hungry and growing chicks. If the food supply is not sufficient, only the strongest one will survive. The young herons develop very rapidly. At about two weeks of their age, they start to stand upright with the wings half opened and clean their plumage. By about the third or fourth week after hatching, both parents begin to leave the chicks unguarded to search for more food in the nearby ponds, rivers, and return only to feed the young. At about six weeks of age, they prepare for their first flight by walking along the branches surrounding the nest and jump while beating their wings. At about ten weeks of age, the young herons leave their nest for good and are independent of their parents. Their courtship rituals, stick transfer, and nest building are amazing to watch. If you have a chance to see a rookery, it sure is worth the time and is a good experience.